your kids are so well behaved. On Sunday, these words were a compliment to a mama who braved a brunch outing with her three littles under five. On Sunday, this acknowledgement that her kids weren't the cause of chaos felt like a pat on the back to a parent who does her best to help her children walk in the dignity they were made with. But since Sunday, these words have felt more haunting than helpful, more cringeworthy than congratulating, for on this same Sunday, life was snatched from Dante Wright in the name of him not being well-behaved. Since Sunday, those words which came from a presumably well-meaning white woman, along with the smiles and nodding approval of her white table mates, are eerily similar to the commentary of their skin folk every time black breath is snuffed out of one of God's beloved. It got me thinking how strange it is to delight in this image of black people, to be perfectly compliant, docile and submissive, even to their detriment, even when feeling the hot sting of the devil's breath at the nape of their necks. And as silly as it is, to expect anyone to remain cool, calm, and composed when flung into a game of Russian roulette at a traffic stop, I realize that conclusion can only come from one root of logic, that black people are less than human. Because surely only a robot with no heart nor brain, no capacity to feel or think would be capable of being unflinchingly perfect and well-behaved in the face of danger. But contrary to this ancient demonic stronghold, that sprouted in the hearts of philosophers, theologians, and slave masters of old, we are human, handcrafted with delightful dignity, in the image of the same God who made them and you, called worthy of love and living by the same mercy that so kindly wakes you in the morning. So whether we rage or riot, are good or ghetto, educated or ignorant, no matter whether our demeanor is to your liking or disgust, we deserve to live, to raise our kids, to grow old, to experience all God has for us, and our behavior and complicity to your mishandling of us is not a prerequisite.